Hi Cancer, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your overview for October the 12th. Now we do have a new moon this week and it's in your solar fourth house so it's all around your home family area. Uh, now there is an opposition with the sun and um, Uranus and Uranus sitting in your career zone, a slow moving planet, been there for a while, going to be there for a while. And um, so there could be some something that goes on at, at work that's going to have an effect on your home or uh, there's like a consideration or a compromise to uh, happen um, during the week with that. And there's all, it's almost like if you let go of one thing with the new moon, it's going to start something new coming up. Now, the Mercury sits in this area as well around your family and home. And uh, Mercury, it does come out of retrograde on the 9th, okay, so depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, so, right, I would try to leave any major discussions until, you know, early in the week or midweek. And when we got that couple of days first over the weekend, it's going to be a little bit disruptive when, while it's coming out of retrograde, while it's in the, a turn, going stationary, direct. Um, to keep that in mind, particularly with uh, relationships, because we do have a very positive connection um, between um, Pluto, which is in your solar seventh house around re relationships, and positive connection with Pluto and uh, Mars. Uh, so it can make him feel a little bit rash though, so you want to like think things through. Particularly with the moon energy is a little bit disruptive and unsettling as well. Um, and Pluto is a planet of transformation. And then later on in the week we've got Mars will conjunct Jupiter. So what happens this week is that if you've been like thinking about something, putting something into action, then this is a week where you can really just um, give it that push. Mars is like the trigger. So it provides the energy. It's in your solar third house. There's a lot of uh, activity in your third house. It's all about creativity, communication. And Mars can really give, be, provide the trigger to really put your thoughts and inspirations into action and say what you mean direct from your heart center. Okay? And with that positive energy connection with Jupiter there, it helps you just to take the initiative and step up and not feel so vulnerable and you know because really uh, when you speak from your heart what else can anyone ask and if it doesn't suit someone well so be it um, but it's one of those situations that if, if you never take a step forward you'll never know okay and certainly this week you are able to sort of take that step forward and see where it ends. So in that sense, it's very, very exciting. And of course, that new moon energy um, really just highlights something new coming into your life. All right, so have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.